la 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 la. Huh? You're back? Uh, it's natural for the conductor to feel relieved when their passengers return. Wanna go take some pictures? Wanna go take some pictures? Hey, you came. That was fast. Didn't I tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. Oh, as for you, the Chief will decide your fate when we see him. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the Underworld. You're about to come face to face with reality. Huh? Isn't that the doctor lady? Nat, I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. Miners and their family members. 
they won an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. <sighs> I heard that many were injured in the clashes, so I hurried over here to see if I could help. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a Geomero vein with incredible deposits. <laughs> the initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news! How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. <laughs> Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. <sighs> I can understand your thinking. It's just that the underground is in difficult straits. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. Oh, that's quite nice of you. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people. giant ore vein, the one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Come on, let's get to higher ground and take a look. That person up ahead, is he asleep? Let's head up and take a look. He might need help. Falling asleep in a place like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey, wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on. Hmm. What? Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. <gasps> Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take, take shelter? I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back. Uh, further in, I guess. Those thugs took control of the vein ages ago, and they're fully armed. We poor, defenseless. It's only thanks to wildfire that the great mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough... Uh... I recognize that woman. That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick, let's get... 
Helene! Are you okay? Uh, Zila! Thank goodness you've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't... Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Need the new challengers enter! About time, human only... Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines, but then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. <sighs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group... And there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Svarog? That name sounds familiar. <sighs> you remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh, Boss Svarog's robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Ale no problem. Robots? Aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should obey humans, uncondi- Is this elevator broken? Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there? But- You idiots will just steal off the miners. Oh. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to- Sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? Whoa! whoa. What the heck? Beep, beep, beep! Searching for potential user. Beep, beep, beep! Voice print detected. Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an interact. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity. Beep, beep, beep. Whatever, whatever. So you aliens know about the Interastral Peace Corporation? Beep, beep, beep. Self-introduction. I am Richard, the home use object finder. Model information. Version zero? Dirt? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of- Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail- What? This spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with- Beep, beep, beep! Yes, yes, yes! When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy! That's me! What was that? So you could take on me? the worst luck running into me. Watch this! Oh, poor you. This is gonna hurt. Ah. Don't need this style. Time to twirl! 
told you I could fight. <laughs> Wait for the tiles. <laughs> you couldn't have done it without me. Was I seeing things? <laughs> Through, or I'll go through you. My turn. <sighs> oh, poor you. This is gonna hurt. Play hard, win big, keep quiet. <laughs> Time to twirl! <laughs> You're annoying! <laughs> Wanna see what I can do? Not going anywhere. Time to twirl. Watch this. <laughs> Let me through, or I'll go through you. <laughs> Don't your hands hurt? You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> What are you looking at? <gasps> Time to twirl! That's a set! Fights are like gambling. You have to choose when to strike. You couldn't have done it without me. It sounds like there's a big argument happening. Let's get closer and take a look. <laughs> Cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? <sighs> we ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geomero and hog it all to yourselves. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. You don't even try hiding it. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team. It's a waste of time trying to reason with you. 
While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire... <laughs> Empty threat. <laughs> wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparag's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. They're getting ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels! I'm going too. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Aha! And who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? Shit! This isn't your territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. Playing nice. Ah! <laughs> Time to twirl. <laughs> Fights are like gambling. You have to choose when to don't need this style. <laughs> Wanna see what I can do? Zila, thank goodness you came. Nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Ol Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> if Wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. Your run-of-the-mill robots don't have a will of their own. Their aim is merely Svarog's aim. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the Underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? Th that can command robots? No, I I've never heard of anything like... Hm. Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! <sighs> it sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the inner... Right. There's unfinished business here. The chief is still down there. It's only a bunch of scrap metal. Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? I'll be honest. You guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, we wouldn't be so hard-pressed by Svarog. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? Yeah, sure thing. But, uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. What meaning does this journey hold for you? Let me through, or I'll go through you! Huh? 
Destiny's course is becoming apparent. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> That's a set. Fights are like gambling. Yes, yeah, time for the payout. Here, all yours. Watch this. Wait for the time. Don't need this style. Roadblock up ahead. I'll be the judge. It's completely blocked by the mine cart. Easy. It belongs to the mining team. We can't just destroy it. We should try and fix it. Easier said than done. Do you know how? Yeah, of course. Every underworlder worth their salt knows how to fix a mine cart. Let me see. Hmm. Even the pin connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Svarog's minions. We need to find spare parts we can use nearby. We're wasting time. Beep, beep, beep! Friends, do you need to find something? Findy can help? How come you just jumped out on your own, little fella? Isn't your module thingy broken? Beep, beep. Beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, manual input for search is still operable. Come on, input the name of the object you were looking for. Oh, well, aren't you confident? Uh, let me give it a try, then. Where's the input interface? Uh, minecart pin, minecart wheel set. Confirm. Just... Beep, beep, beep. Request is being processed. Beep, beep, beep. Match successful! Initiating search for lost item. Minecart beep beep beep! Item found. Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. In the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. Inter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Based on your search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. Inter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Entering sleep mode. Let me see. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. This little machine isn't half bad. Beep, beep, beep! What's that? Is that a hint of respect for Findy? How convenient! So 
So, next time Don Hum gets lost, we can just use Bindy to- Beep. 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 Biological life form search is currently not supported. If you have any questions, please call- Well, it was a good idea. Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep! Initiating search for lost item. My beep, beep, beep! Item found! Please commence search according to the home use object finder sync. Your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep! Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. That's everything. You were a big help, Find. Beep, beep, beep. It was nothing. Enter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Current search complete. <sighs> Entering sleep mode. Please recharge the home use object finder. We're pretty lucky, huh? Without Findy, it probably would have taken half the day to find these parts. Well, not that long, but that little machine definitely made it a lot easier. All right. Are you going to do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You've got to be self-reliant down here. Watch, you might learn something. work. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives, but you know how to get your hands dirty. The cart is about to depart! The robots will have seized the road ahead by now. Whoa! Stop! Uh, stop! 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 There's a big evil hunk of metal right there! That model... One of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. <laughs> so what? I won't surrender. before you start counting. You have to choose when to strike.
Luck of the draw. Please, 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 please. Uh, looks like victory! Memories are ever changing. Beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss! <laughs> Running into what? This! No more playing nice. Ah! Better late than never. Wait for the tiles before you set time for the payout. Let me through, or I'll go through you. Dodge this. Customers are always welcome. Evil must be gone. Let me through, or I'll go through you. Here 
They're not going anywhere! My turn! Gambling, you have to choose when to strike. Oh, that's a set. Time for the payout. Let's be friends, shall we? even more spectacular. I doubt the underground will ever see it fully excavated. Always welcome. <laughs> yeah, let me through, or I'll go through. You're not going anywhere. With me out here, how can we lose? Luke, try that again. <sighs> you can't. You have to choose when to strike. Come on.
this vein. So this is what everyone is fighting over. Mr. Sparog, it's such a massive vein. I've never seen so much... Calculating. Based on the average rate of excavation, this vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of 7 days. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the or in question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Sparg to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparog. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team and Wildfire... They don't understand your actions. <sighs> if only we could do more for them. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. Svarag! We haven't settled our final score. Zila, subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Svarog... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of Wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. And more fashionably dressed, too. Uh, hey, is he about to leave? What about the girl in red? We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The Furnace Core Hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Trouble now. to me with me out here how can we lose better late than never fights are like gambling it's time for the
customers are always welcome. <laughs> yeah! For the tile, don't need this tile. <laughs> Try that again. Let's be friends, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Let me through, or I'll go. You're not going anywhere. With me out here, how can we lose? <laughs> are always welcome. Stay right there while I give you a present! Fights are like gambling. You have to choose when to strike. Don't need this style. Shall we? before you start counting. <laughs> Wanna see what I can do? Gambling, you have to choose when to strike. Gotcha! That's a set! <laughs> Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome! 
awesome move. Go through you. Yes. Phew. Not bad. How many of these big guys is Sparog hiding? A lot, which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zelo. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> oh, chief! Is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mine should be quiet for a while. And, uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. <laughs> That's quite the tone to take on our first meeting. I won't forget you in a hurry. <laughs> so, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? <laughs> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the Overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This Stellaron you speak of. Never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses sweet words to deceive the underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I... Miss Overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that, for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarog. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the Underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy? <laughs> Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold and unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against Wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, Wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. Don't judge a book by its cover. I myself have put a few centuries behind me. Would you be able to tell? I'm familiar with over 20 long-life species. None of them look like you. Uh, hey, would it kill you to play along? Robots don't forget. If Svarog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case... We need to think of a way to convince Svarok to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. <sighs> what should we do? 
We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... Hmm. It's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll make arrangements. Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. As for our Silvermane girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. Wanna go take some pictures? Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda... Yep. You've probably seen that stylish Gerda Hotel above ground, right? Uh, not the most pleasant memories of that place. That's the above ground branch of the Grand Hotel. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Gerda family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. He eventually realized his dream and opened a hotel branch in the most expensive area on the surface. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most... What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Oh, time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg, he seems sincere. 
What do you guys think? Don't you have something cool to say? Like, appearances can be just- I don't try to disagree. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was- One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the cosmic wild west. <laughs> oh, anyone- You seem pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. I'll do it. I'll keep watch. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you, it's just... I wouldn't be surprised if there are. The Silvermane guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia... Oh, forget it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and... I lost her. My wish. Your so-called plan. What is the point of it all? voice again. Such a strange dream. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep.
goes there, show yourself. Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either. Mm, I understand. The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? Is he your leader? I feel he possesses a great stillness of mind in everything he does. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I don't need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open, but the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong, but how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. Nobody knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place, with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, the quieter things are around you, the louder they- I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation- Can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Huh? Are 
Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. I'm grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Some... The situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anchor isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> with you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. Uh, let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain... If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. What meaning does... So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. No 